Welcome back, and now it's time to finish everything up by uh, turning in your screenshots, uh, wireframe on shaded, and uh, shaded mode for screenshots. And then I'm going to show you how to add a material, and then um, and then we're going to add, and then we're going to render light and render the scene. It should be very fairly easy and quick. So I'll just take you through some of the attributes. So um, here we go. All right, for screenshots, we don't want to show, we don't need to show faces and, and stuff like that. So we can go to display and go to heads up display and then turn that poly count off. And then um, I want you to go to expert mode. So in the workplace, I want you to click on the arrow and just go to modeling expert. And that gets rid of all the unnecessary uh, windows and menus. Okay. Normally, I model in this uh, particular mode because I can, I have my all my everything I need right here, um, the marking menu. So um, when you finally get to a point where you're comfortable, you'll be able to do that too. Okay. So, but what we need to do now is just take. Um, a couple snapshots of this get a nice uh, uh, perspective view of your castle and I know it looks like it's floating a little bit don't worry about that it's 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 not floating it's just the um, it is the ambient occlusion if I get rid of that you can see that the shadow so you can turn the radius down a little bit or up a little bit uh, fine-tune it um, the amount that you want to add to it it's really up to you uh, what you want to do um, it looks like the ground is not like it's floating above the ground but if I move the ground up a little bit you can see if I move it up a little bit I can just maybe get that a little bit closer or something like that that would be okay that way it looks it looks a little bit better all right, so now we got that. Um, then we can go ahead and uh, take some screenshots, okay? All right, so just kind of center it um, out the best you can. And then um, I want you, if you have a Windows, you will, in the search, uh, Windows search, in, uh, search, bo search box, click or uh, type in S. And that should come up with a snipping. If it doesn't, just type in snipping tool. Click on the snipping tool. And it looks like this. Just go to mode and click on rectangular snip. Okay, and then you can just go from one corner to the next corner like that. Okay, great. And don't worry, there's a little highlight there. Don't worry about that. And then we're gonna go to file, save as, and you want it to be a JPEG file. And I want you to put your first and last name, underscore screenshot. And uh, this will be called smooth shade. I'll put a little underscore there. There we go. So that's one of them. And then you can close that once you save it. Now, you have to remember uh, where you saved it. So mine was on the PC, but I'm going to put it on my desktop so I can easily get a hold of it. Yes. Okay. I already saved it. Good. And the next thing you're going to do is, like I, sh I said earlier, you're going to click on this guy right here that says wireframe on shaded. Okay. And this just shows me how your model looks, that it's not too high poly. Um, that you've been following my videos and again you don't have to have the same castle but the construction of the castle needs to be similar okay all right so I'm gonna do the same thing go to search snip and just type an S and here it comes up right away and do the same exact thing where I will Go ahead and do a capture of that window in perspective view, like that. There we go. 
and I will save that as well okay and this one is going to be if I go to the desktop this one is going to be I'm just going to click on the one I had before and just type in screenshot wireframe just w-i-r-e-f-r-a-m-e -E, wireframe and those are the screenshots that I need okay perfect all right so close that right and then now it's time to render so how do we do that I'm going to turn off wireframe unshaded and um, I am going to do a couple simple things okay F first of all I think it'd be kind of cool to add color um, at least color to the scene okay and um, you're not going to get points taken off if you don't because it does take a little more time okay so but I'm going to show you how to do it okay so the the color the materials that we want on there is uh, a it's going to be an Arnold stand, AI standard surface material okay so I'll show you how to do that so you're going to click on whatever you want to add a material to you're going to right click over it and go to assign new material and you're going to go to Arnold shader and if you don't see Arnold here um, then you need to make sure that you have your plugin installed okay how do you do that go to Windows okay settings preferences and then plugin manager okay and then you're going to want to look for and I can search it but <clears throat> I already know where it is it's about halfway down uh, Maya to Arnold uh, where are you Maya to Arnold it's been a while since I've looked for you there it is Maya to Arnold's fairly close to the bottom but it's MTA MTOA dot MLL and you can see mine's loaded and auto loaded so you want to make sure those are check marked and then click on refresh and then uh, you can you can um, go ahead and close the window if you want to so mine's already set up that's how you do it and then go ahead and try that again right mouse click over the object you want to add a material to assign new material go to Arnold shader and we want to add an AI standard surface shader okay now this surface will automatically come in uh, reflective okay so what you want to do right away since you, we don't want things reflective okay even though some of you may think that's really cool but we don't want them reflective okay so we're going to type uh, next to IOR okay we're going to type in one okay um, IOR means index of refraction okay and that's usually uh, saved for glass okay roughness um, we can set we want kind of a more of a flat image we want to set it to 0.5 okay all right so that'll flatten things out so the roughness at 0.5 IOR point uh, one and then now we, we can just give it a color so now that we have flattened it out so it looks it'll look a little better when you render it so we're going to give it kind of a green a dark green color you can give it you can make it sandy whatever you want to do um, give it a color that you would like to see okay okay so I'm just going to do kind of a off green I don't like totally totally dr green it makes it look kind of goofy Okay, then that's done. All right, so then I'm going to uh, do the castle part. Okay, so the castle can all be done at one time because they're just all going to be sharing the same material. So I'm going to hit the Q key. And what I'll probably do is the easiest way just to select the castle and not the flags is to go to a front view or side view. Okay, so the front view. So what you do is you start you select the whole thing okay and then you deselect the ground so hold the control key down and click on the ground and click on your flags you can even mark marquee select with your the control key held down and just mark marquee deselect the uh, uh, flags okay 
And that's about as easy as it can get. Now notice that accidentally did undo something, but I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Control is deselect, there we go. And now I'm gonna look at my selection and see if I got everything except for the flags, and I do. Looks like I got everything selected except for the flags. Okay, perfect, all right, great. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click over it and go to assign new material, go to uh, Arnold, under Arnold, go to shader, and then click on AI standard surface, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing where I want uh, the a IOR to be one and the roughness to be 0 0.5, 0 0.5, there we go, and hit enter, there we go. And um, the color, of course, is up to you. I'm gonna do like a sandy color. So I'm gonna go into the orange just click on the orange tint or just click on red okay and it's gonna be crazy color but now I'm gonna go into the orange okay let's set this up and think about and just kind of look at the color splotch here for my sand and I'm gonna make it a little bit darker there we go and maybe more of a brick kind of look there we go, maybe uh, that's more of a salmon color. Let's kind of lighten that up a little bit. I think that'll work good. I know that looks more brown, but let's see what it looks like in the light, okay? And then of course the poles should be gray, um, the flags should be different colors, okay? So um, I've got these combined, so that's kind of gonna be a problem. So. Um, need to go in here and do a mesh um, separate and I can just click on the, the the flags now each flag you can have is a different um, I'm gonna do a uh, G see if I can do that um, let me do this let me get those separated so I'm gonna do separate Had an amber alert, believe it or not. Okay, and I'm gonna do that to all of them. So once I once I um, basically uh, do a command, I click on the other flags and hit the G key. The G key remembers what you did last, depending on your command. So the last command was to separate. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate those, and and I've. All I have to do is hit the G key once I do it once, which is a time saver for sure. All right, um, now I can go in there and add different colors to every single one of these, but I just don't have the time to do that, and I don't want you to wait. So I'm just gonna add a color to all of these. Okay, and of course, you guys can do whatever you like, right? Okay, all right and right click over it and go to assign existing materials uh, we want a new material so let's go to shader ashton surface same old thing one on those and uh, 0.5 on that okay and the color we're gonna do blue kind of a royal blue Nice and bright, there we go. That looks pretty good. All right, so we're ready to render, okay? So once we get the materials on there, now we can go into, let me, let's go ahead and get out of the expert. There's some things I need to show you, so I'm gonna go back to general. All right, so um, you should see, once you have Arnold loaded, you should be able to click on the tab Arnold, okay? And then you want to click on this looks like a dome and it should say sky dome create sky dome light so that's the first thing we're gonna do okay we also have this one called create physical sky that's also fun to do okay so um, let's do that that actually has that's gonna be a lot brighter like an outside light so let's click on that 
and the physical sun and sky let's go ahead and give it a shot and see what it looks like rendering so what you'll have to do is go into here okay render the current frame all right and see what it looks like and there we go okay we want a, a higher resolution than this of course but yeah you can see that we've got a nice render of the uh, scene okay I'm gonna close that all right so I'm gonna rotate around a little bit and there's our physical Sun and sky um, so what I'm gonna do is go into the attributes it's been a while since I've been in there physical Sun and sky let's see color cast shadows uh, color Sky tint, sky sun tint, ground albedo. Let's do uh, kind of a, a bluish color. Let's see if this helps. So light blue, that would be the horizon color. Uh, let's see here, what else? Um, Uh, sky tint, let's do a darker blue. Okay. And sun tint, let's go with a um, blue as well. Let's take a look and see what it does. <laughs> wow you don't want to do the sun tint sky tint sun tint that tends to make your um your render to be blue i see what they're trying to do so gray it, it doesn't add any so let's add a little warmth maybe to it so just a little bit of warmth just a little bit on the sky tint and the sun tint we would be uh, warm as well so that should give us a better render there we go <laughs> all right awesome great you can see we got a little blue going on in the background there I think that looks pretty good all right it's not as nice as having a texture okay so the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go into mess around with the settings so we're gonna click on this guy right here called display render settings and in here you're going to go to Arnold renderer and we're going to turn this up to six so we don't want it to look grainy and we're going to keep those are at two 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 and then under the common tab scroll down and make sure you're at HD 1080 so image size will be HD 1080 okay now this will take a little bit longer to render but it's still render pretty quick because we have a low polygon if this was a 150,000 polygon object then you can see that this could be a problem it would take really really long but we have and it shouldn't take too long I'm gonna eat my words <laughs> but it shouldn't take too long so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this just in case it does okay it did take a little while but it's not too bad it was uh, render time at 49 seconds that's what I got for my machine oh my chains don't look like chains do they I need to to uh, add materials to those okay very cool let's go ahead and go in here another thing I noticed the windows you know I could probably add a black material to the windows to make them look a little more realistic or at this point we could probably take it and I'll show you how to do that real quick it's pretty cool um, so I'm gonna go in here let's uh, go ahead and um, I just I won't save the image okay so um, I'm gonna keep this camera angle I'm gonna show you if you like your camera angle you don't wanna mess with that then go to view and go to bookmarks and click on edit bookmarks okay now you need to be looking through your perspective so you have to basically click on your perspective for this to work so 
you have to go in your outliner. So you go to Windows, Outliner, open it up, and then click, just highlight PERSP. That's your perspective viewport. And then go to View, Bookmarks, Edit Bookmarks, and click on New Bookmark and name it whatever you want. It could be called J. Byers uh, Cam, right? And hit Enter. There we go and apply and then you can close and if I zoom out like that and go okay well I messed up so just go to view bookmarks J virus cam and boom takes you right back which is really cool all right so um, so what I want need to do now um, is a couple things I'm gonna move around and get close to those chains so the chains need to have their own materials and I think the um, not black. Don't ever use pure white or pure black. Just a just a tip there. Never use pure black or pure white. What do I mean by that? So I'll show you. AI standard surface. All right. So um, the chains can be a little more glossy, which would be kind of fun. So I'm going to keep that glossiness and um, basically keep this just fine, so it reflects a little bit more. Metals usually f reflect more stone and grass and stuff like that do not so what's the color well we don't want it to be black so if you do black that's unrealistic just think of the blackest blackest black like black in space the absence total absence of color um you can't replicate that in um on earth okay that doesn't happen naturally okay so i'm going to click on it and let's go a dark gray is fine like a very dark gray is fine just don't go full black just like you don't go full white don't go full black okay all right so just bring it up a little bit to maybe um, value of point maybe uh, 10 point one zero is fine okay and hit enter and that should be good enough okay all right and, and and from what it looks like they look black to me right okay so let's go back go to view because I already set my bookmark mark up and then there we go and the only thing that's bothering me with the sky dome is the fact that um, let's go back into the color right um, where would this be azimuth no ground albedo turbid turbidity um, I don't like the ground color. I wonder if I can change that. Um, enable sun, yes. Elevation, 45 degrees. Elevation, maybe that's it. Elevation, let's do zero. Maybe that's what I need, zero for elevation. Okay, so now I'm gonna go click on render. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna see a blue sky in the background and it looks like I'm, oh, that's the, that's the sun elevation, I get it. Okay, whoops, whoops. Like I said, I haven't used physical sun and sky forever. But I saw it and I thought, hmm, let's try it. That's not looking good. It, I don't like the render, so I'm gonna hit escape. What that does, it made the sun go into the azimuth. Um, so elevation of the sun, okay. And that was at 45, maybe? I can't remember. Uh, ground albedo turbidity I think we're okay intensity yeah let's give it another shot here see what we got this takes a while to render so I'll F all right it looks like um, I just don't like that gray I think that's just the ground color so what I'm going to do is I'm going to force it I know this is I'm really picky um, what I'm gonna do with this though is close this and just zoom out okay and uh, rotate this around like that and I'm thinking that will allow me to see the sky there we go view bookmarks cam there we go and uh, just try that and um, I will pause this again I think I'm pausing it I 
and and go ahead and pause it and render it okay that looks pretty good you can see that I can see the sky now and not the weird gray ground color they had before by just rotating the globe a little bit the sky dome anyway um, that's it that's our render so I think that looks good um, and of course you can add materials to you know each each face if you want to and I'm, I'm just not gonna that's a lot of uh, work um, so this is fine and just go to file save image make sure you have color managed image on apply and close and then go ahead and save image and you make sure you're not using alias pics and just use a JPEG and type in your name okay um, mod maybe a zero one and render okay and that's your full render save that to your desktop okay right and then there was one last thing we're going to render we're going to I'm going to show you how to do a wireframe render with um, with uh, with Arnold okay so what you want to do here is you want to just select everything marquee select everything and it when you marquee select everything it will actually get rid of the it won't select the sky so you'll be okay and so you right click over it and go to assign new material go to Arnold shader and go to click on wireframe it's really important and to wireframe edge type to be from triangles to polygons okay and the line color will be black and the fill color will be white and this is what it looks like so go ahead and render I don't know how long it'll take to render I might have to pause the video but here we go well that didn't take long at all so that's it um, you have all your renders now um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and save this because it's a render same image and I'm going to find the other render I've been saving. So there's the render, and this is going to be render. I'm going to go click right after the R underscore wireframe. There we go. And save. All right, so I should have everything set up and ready to go. Um, you're going to create a folder. Just follow the instructions for your deliverables at the very bottom of the module one. Just scroll all the way down and you can see all the deliverables, my grading rubrics, what I'm going to grade you on and all that stuff. So um, when you're going to save your file, I'll show that really quick. So your file is going to be file, save scene as, you're going to save a MB file. So all I need is the last one that you saved. Okay, I just need that. Make sure you have your name on there. Okay, it looks like I want to have uh, OBJ, so I'm going to click on. Again, if you can't find any of them, then go to your settings preferences and plugin manager and make sure FBX is, is uh, selected and OBJ is selected. Sometimes they're not automatically loaded. Sometimes they are, so it depends. If you don't find them, you have to load them in with the plugin manager. So go to file. Um, so you want to select, just select this portion for the OBJ. So when you're saving your scene, you can save the whole thing, but if you're saving an OBJ or FBX, you want to save just the model, okay? So file, um, export selection, you'll do this twice, so I'm going to find OBJ, which is at the bottom, okay, export selection, and you name it your first and last name, module, MOD, uh, 01, and that's good, and export it and then go file export selection you need one more and that's the FBX and that's this one right here FBX 
export selection and you'll have to type that in again mod01 there we go and that's it so yep select warnings to see details warning unable to export some materials that's fine close all right that's it and save your scene for yourself and you're done and uh uh, like I said, make a main folder and all the other subfolders for me. Put all the images in the images folder, the renders in the renders folder, and um, and then the MB files in the in a scenes folder, and then zip everything up into one main folder with your name on it, um, and uh, zip it. Okay, you guys know how to zip it, so you can go select any folder you want and go in here to um com send to and then compressed zipped folder okay so send to compressed zipped folder that's it upload everything to um module one the assignments that the one you just got done with and that's you're done all right I wish you guys the best of luck and have fun with the uh, have fun with this week's assignment and I'll see you guys uh, next week and uh, for a new assignment. It'll be a lot of fun. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.